What's up, everyone? Welcome back to more Merge NYC gameplay. Spur here. We're back at it uh, on Engine 234, my very favorite uh, engine to work on. We're back in Brooklyn, and we're going to be heading to uh, what I think is going to be a rather large commercial fire. So let's go ahead and get the truck going, get the lights on, and we'll get rolling. Should be just right down the street a little bit here. There we go. All right, let's go. Using a Logitech wheel with this as usual end pedals. They work. Uh, they work out pretty good. Work out all right. All right, I gotta think like uh, not this street, but the next one. I think the next one would be the next one to go to. The good one to go to. All right, here we go. Swing his left. And let's see. Yeah, I've watched several videos on YouTube of uh, definitely riding with like a uh, ladder one, two, three. It's really cool to be able to uh, to see that, uh, to to like ride along in the actual truck. Uh, it looks like it's going to be on down a little bit. Hard to tell. Really, just hard to tell. Uh, I think this is going to be, yeah, I see smoke and fire, most definitely, most definitely. I think the next street down. This looks like this is going to be a really big fire. All right, let's get, uh, let's see, where to? Uh, yeah, okay, this looks like this is the front, maybe. So we need to find a hydrant. We need hydrant access. We're going to need a truck as well to get in there. You know, I never honestly realized like how compartmentalized uh, some of the tasks and jobs are. Like, I didn't know. I just saw firefighters were firefighters. I'll be honest. I didn't know that like uh, ladders had a very, very specific set of jobs that they were supposed to do. I just did not know that. I really just didn't. Uh, so that's that's cool that it you know, and it's kind of the same way in here too. So. All right, we got uh, that. Let's get you in here. You know what? Let's try this. Oh, no, 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 no. Not what I need. There we go. All right. All right, one, two, three. Let's put you... I don't really think we need the ladder. If we do, we'll call in some more. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's put them right here. We'll put them clear of the... Uh... All right, there we go. All right, back to two, three, four. Let's grab our uh, hydrant wrench. Get him going. And let's get our supply line. We got that. Hook you up. Get the hydrant going. This is like my usual routine every, every time. It never fails. This is my routine. Yeah, we don't have a way to uh, get in here to cut these doors open right now, so we're just gonna have to wait on uh, one, two, three to get here. Uh, for lease seven one eight two five seven one eight two seven. Yeah, uh, <laughs> about your building. <laughs> about your building, there might be a small problem, but uh, we're working on it. Oh, I hear crazy ladder one two three on his way. I do, I hear him. All right, let's pull some line. Let's get some uh, attack line going. Uh, actually, no, let's do this. Let's do it this way. Let's get attack, and we'll get six links going. And we'll put you over here. And let's grab the other end. There we go. All right, sweet. Hook you up on the side here. There we go. All right, we got that set. Uh, let's go ahead and get the pump. Pump going as well. All right, got you. And one, two, three is here, so we need a way to get in. Uh, where's the saw? There we go. Let's grab our saw. And we'll cut these locks be able to get in we may have to cut the whole door i don't know let's just get the lock yeah let's see if we can just get the lock here 
There we go. Come on. Any time now. There we go, sweet, woo, yes. <laughs> Lots of fire in there. I can feel it. I can feel it, there's not a lock. Yeah, there is, I was about to say there's not a lock on that one, but there is, I just can't see it. This place opened up. Come on, anytime now, anytime. Are you gonna do it? Maybe? There we go. Man, that place is really going. Holy crap. That place is really freaking burning. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna have to kneel for this one. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, dude, quit being a baby about it. There's no smoke out here. There's like no smoke at all. You're completely fine. All right, there we go. Oh my lord, this dude's such a baby. <laughs> it's like coughing and wheezing. All right, uh, we've got that. Uh, you know what? We're not going to put this away. Let's just uh, let's drop it for now. All right, got that. Grab our hose. Get going. Got water. I don't know why you did that. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. All right, let's uh, jump back in. All right, let's grab our line again. Make sure we're good here. There we go. Okay, people just casually walking by too, like they don't care. Wow, man, this place is really going. All right, this would be a fun multiplayer fire for sure. This absolutely would be awesome multiplayer. Oh, it's all in the ceiling and stuff too. All right, there we go. Just walking by like she don't care. <laughs> no cares given. Man, this is really cool. This looks like a new fire. Like I was kind of looking through the list earlier and I was like, some of these I don't recognize. And I know I just talked about that in the last video. So I like maybe it's like uh, ask and you shall receive, right? But I, I don't think I fought this. I mean, I definitely don't remember fighting this one before. Uh, maybe it's new. Maybe there's been some new ones. I need to go back in. Uh, um, read through some of the notes and stuff like that and see, man, I just can't like, that is a crap ton of fire in here, damn. All right, let's, uh, let's get our mask on. This is gonna take a while, I think, because it is like literally everywhere. All on the, uh, all on the roof too. I don't think we're gonna be able to put that out. Like, more than likely, we're going to have to get some more trucks. Go ahead and grab this real quick. Yeah, look at that. It is raging. It is absolutely raging in there. Look at that. Holy sh... That is just crazy. This is one of the better fires I've seen, to be honest. Like, damn. And, it's, and the computer is running really well with it, too. So, it, it, it puzzles me. Like sometimes I think it's the fires themselves that cause my stutters and lag, and then other times I'm like, well, not so much, maybe. All right, let's get in here. All right, no, we're not good right here. You get that. Just a little safe area going here. Come on. There we go. All right, we're making a little headway here. This box put out, someone's box is on fire. This looks like a package place or something, like a, uh, like uh, an Amazon, maybe an Amazon sorting facility or warehouse or something. Either way, there are lots of fires in here. They're everywhere. There we go, we're making some headway. Now, I thought I remember reading at some point that there were like different types of fires too, like chemical fires and uh, regular fires. Like you were required to have to uh, use different things to put it out. So I haven't run across that in here, but 
I don't know if that was like something they were talking about and it was just taken out or it is so bad. Look at that. All right, we're getting it though. So we may be all right. We may honestly be okay. We're doing this the one man band here, you know, we're doing it all. All right, we uh, we need to get out and get a new uh, new bottle of air. All right, there we go. Go get us a bottle of air. I wonder if we could grab one off the uh, truck here. I don't know where that stuff is kept. Oh, no, oh, it's Gatorade though. Yeah, we don't need Gatorade. Uh, no. There we go. Wait, so we'll have to go all the way back down to the truck. All right, so there we go. I mean, to the uh, engine, not the truck, the engine. Trying to use the correct terms here. There we go. There we go. Get all these packages put out. <laughs> People's packages are burning up. We have to save them. We have to save the packages, please. All of them. Their stuff is uh, is burning up. I would really, I would love to see some fires in Emerge NYC that like take you. Um, you know like a tremendous like your own scene for a long time trying to put these fires out like some of the ones you know the really big fires that you see uh on videos and stuff like that that take like multiple multiple trucks uh you know engine companies and stuff like that you know big you know multi-alarm fires that just they're on there for hours um on end like i think that would be really good for a multiplayer session i don't think like a single person i don't think they would be able to handle I mean, we're gonna be on scene in this one for a while. It's already going on uh, eh, about 12 minutes. And we still got a lot of fire to put out. Yeah, we do, we've got a lot. All right, let's keep going here. This is gonna take a minute just from uh, changing out air bottles and stuff. All right, let's hit you. Over here as well. Looks like there's some hazmat stuff in here. Yep, there sure is right there. I don't know what that is. It looks like it has an explosive placard on it, so that's not cool. All right, let's get the air off. Helmet back going. All right, let's see. Um, if we can hit it from this way. Sometimes I'll call out a bunch of trucks just for the uh, effect, you know, but I don't know. It's like sometimes it's not really worth it single player because I mean you can't do anything with all of them I mean I could have called in some uh, tower ladders we could have been putting in you know water on the roof or something but it is just really going over here come on we're not making much headway it don't look like we're running back out of air again there we go we're getting a little bit we're getting a little bit there all right Let's, uh, let's go grab some more air. There we go. All right. Uh, air, where you be? There you are. All right. More airs. All right. Grab our nozzle. Let's carry on. Carry on extinguishing the fires. It looks like this is like really super stubborn back here. Like we were having a hard time with this. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, this is a pretty stubborn fire. I'm actually quite impressed. Like it really just is. Get at the bottom here, I can't like. Getting like really deep into the building too. All right, come on. Yeah, this, this looks like a package sorting facility of some kind or something. That's interesting. I think this is new. Like I really do. 
I, I really do. I think this is new. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I completely just missed this fire. But uh, it seems like they've added some new, like several new calls, because the list looked different to me. So uh, kudos, you know, kudos to the devs for uh, adding some new stuff, because like I've always said, that's like crucial to uh, to me uh, is having new stuff to do, new fires, buildings, stuff like that. Come on. You know, if they had a sprinkler system in there, this stuff wouldn't happen. <laughs> this wouldn't be a problem right now. Oh, we're getting, oh, we're getting there. We're getting some headway now. Yes, yes, yes. We're making some headway. Oh, more air. <laughs> That's my nemesis is my air bottle. Like it never fails. Every time I turn around, uh, I need an air bottle. All right, let's get you off. You can grab another one. Bottle number three, right? All right, there we go. Got our bottle. We're ready. Let's get in here. Oh, yeah, I ran and he is going through that air like crazy. Dude, stop. Stop breathing so much. <laughs> stop. Stop breathing. All right, here we go. All right. So much fire though, man. It is just literally everywhere. Like we're uh, 16 minutes in it now. 16 minutes and still going. I mean, if this was multiplayer, we probably would have banged this out really quick. Uh, several guys, you know, have some uh, going up on the roof and uh, a couple, you know, at least a couple of attack lines inside. Uh, putting it out. All right, come on. Can't tell, like. Sometimes it feels like I need to be closer, like you're not doing anything because you're not just close enough. I mean, it looks like you're putting fire or water on the fire, but you can say put fire on the water. <laughs> you fire on the water. All right, come on. So, what is that? Is that a gas tank? Look at that gas. That is the biggest gas tank I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap, that thing is huge. That is like the biggest gas tank ever. Damn it, man. <laughs> That's like a, a five gallon gas tank on steroids. It really is. All right, I think we're finally, finally, finally getting it. We are, we're gonna need a, uh, another, uh, another bottle. You know what, let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and get another bottle before we get too far involved. One more. This is a really, really cool structure. I love all the details and stuff in it. Lots of gas cans. There's a there's like a regular size gas can. Damn it, I'm like hung up here. I can't I can't get out. I'm like stuck. This would be bad. Alright, come on. That would have been really bad. If that if there had been fire in there, like that would have been a dead firefighter. Fortunately, that would have been bad. Alright, let's get uh, get our airs. And let's get our water going again. Well, did it. I thought we'd cut it off when we came back, but I guess not. Damn, someone got their tide box down there, that's cool. All right, we're not here at the fire. It's not smoky. We're gonna take that off for a minute. Try to conserve some air. It's just so much. Like I said, when you're single player, it is so much. You just go through air left and right. What would be really cool and interesting is if you had a limited number of bottles on the truck. Like right now, I think it's pretty much unlimited. But uh, what happens, like how many do they carry? You know, if someone knows, uh, let me know how many like how many extra bottles do they keep on a truck on average? You know, I know they have trucks that like their whole their whole purpose is to do nothing but supply air 
like re i guess they refill bottles or they have a bunch of bottles on the truck i'm not exactly sure how that works but uh, i've seen them i've seen them on video before so i could see like seeing how quick they go through air like how that could be a logistical problem getting all the air that you need to do that there we go i think we're on a home stretch now i really do i think that is it put a little bit more water on it just to be safe but i think we finally beat this one back all right let's get our uh, air off our helmet here and uh drop our hose out here we'll take a quick look around and uh see what's going on in here here we go Look at all this stuff here Yeah, I think we got it. I think we finally got it all put out. Very nice. Very nice. See, got some weirdness over here. It looks like some windows and stuff on this side. The uh, backs. I don't know if this would be the back side or front side or what. But either way, this was a really cool fire. Like, I really like this one a lot. I did. That was cool. That took us uh, about uh, uh, 20 minutes to put out, believe it or not. Like, to get on scene, get set up, and uh, get it put out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, we'll, uh, we'll start getting everything put away, taken care of, clean up our mess here. Your saw, yeah, we don't need to crank it though. That's one thing that's kind of aggravating. I was like, I wish they wouldn't crank the saw every time we pick it up. Like, dude, we, <laughs> we're done with the saw. You don't have to quit being so saw happy. Uh, really, like he's really saw happy. Oh, come on. There we go, okay, that's good. Uh, we didn't get anything else. We didn't use ladder one, two, three for anything else. So, uh, you guys can go if you want. There you go. Bye. See ya. All right. Uh, he's taken care of. Let's get all our hoses put up. And we get our hydrant wrench here. Got you off. Grab a supply line. Put you away and we'll get our wrench put up as well look at old glory back there on the back of the truck i love that too really good it's always really dark all right got you put away and we'll close that and uh we'll get out of our turnout gears may as well get down to our shirt there nice all right uh job well done another huge fire this looks like a new fire to me like, I could be totally mistaken, but that looks like some new stuff has been added. I haven't looked at the patch notes or anything like that lately, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Does look new to me. If so, kudos to the devs for doing that. I, I'm all about seeing new fires and new, uh, new challenges in here. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, as usual, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Uh, thank you to everyone else that has uh, joined the channel and uh, come along on this little journey. We're starting to get really close to 400 subs. Um, it absolutely like blows my mind to see uh, 400 subs, to see that many. I mean, it, it really does, just does. It blows my mind. Uh, looking for that big goal of uh, 500 by the end of the summer. Maybe we'll see it. I hope so. Uh, it'll be fun trying to get there. And uh, with all that said, oh, we'll catch you guys on the streets of New York, or Brooklyn, I should say. We're actually we're in Brooklyn. Catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.